Okay, uh, <clears throat> this is the um, TBS Unified Pro Race HV or whatever. Um, and it, I don't know, I've used it in other builds before, and I, I have several of these that I use on different builds. For some reason, when I just built this uh, Hyperlite Floss, put it on here, it doesn't want to change, mo change uh, settings at all. <clears throat> um, it's stuck in fit mode, which is really not a problem, but it, it doesn't, and I can scan and find the frequency, but, um, uh, you know, <laughs> it's not always convenient to have one when all your, your mates are, um, you know, I need to be able to change the channel. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this is a demonstration of what the issue is. Um, so I put it in, you can see it's in fit mode, it doesn't do anything, right? Um, I can take it out of fit mode, no problem. But as you can see, there's no flashing of any sort. Um, it just is there. I mean, if I press the button, it doesn't matter how long or how short I hold it. I, mean, I, I sat here for two or three minutes before seeing if it um, would do anything. Uh, and it, it doesn't, no matter what I do. Um, if I uh, do the... Um, pit mode unlock or whatever it's called and power it with the button pressed all that does really is make it start transmitting as soon as I plug in the battery but it doesn't save as soon as I do it again it's still in pit mode so and as I showed you before um, when it's in pit mode changing things doesn't save and if I sorry uh, if I hold it, plug it in, that doesn't change how it works. No matter how long or how short I hold this, it still does not change, doesn't give me the blinks, absolutely nothing. Uh, so that's not right, and as you can imagine, it's a problem. Um, I, I, my opinion is that it's firmware corruption or something. Um, and if there is a way to flash firmware on it, then I'm happy to do that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I'm going to need a replacement for this. Uh, or, yeah, a replacement would be good. <laughs> Thanks.